to another edition of Cats Chit Chat Corner with Grizzly on the Hunt. Welcome, everybody. Let's see here. We got Standing Stones. Welcome to the show there. Hello, Hi. Cat. How are you doing? How's it going? Doing good. How about yourself? You had a good week? Yeah, pretty quiet. I've behaved myself most of the time. It's too cold. Really? You yes. behaving? Yeah. Okay. Hello, Mort. Welcome to the show, Mort. <laughs> Glad to have you there. Hello, hello. So, yeah, I don't believe that at all. So, uh, <laughs> interesting. So, what is on our radar tonight? Well, I thought some people might be interested in seeing how a remote viewing um, session works. Yeah, that um, would be interesting. Because a lot basic. of people do ask about that a lot. Uh huh. Well, I can explain how that works. And if anyone's got questions on the way through, I'll just do a basic. Um, hi, Standing Stones. I'll just do a basic one. Um, remote viewing is it's a, it's a um, another tool, I guess, the same as dousing or if you're healing, you're still using similar protocols, um, you know, if you're sticking to ethical healing, et cetera, et cetera. Um, right. With remote viewing, we have what we call a tasker. Um, the tasker creates a task or what we call a target, which is what we're seeking the answers to. Um, it could be a location. It could be a lost sub. It could be missing person. It can be pretty much anything. Um, most of the taskers will put a photo in an envelope with a number um, and when the person who's going to do the remote view receives the task, all they get is a number. Um, so there's, it's totally blind. Most of the time it's totally blind. Um, the tasker, he's the, or she, that person is a person that creates the task. So depending on the tasker, we always need to make sure they're reliable taskers um, because you do want it totally blind most of the time. Um, if it's not totally blind means you have no clues whatsoever as to what the target can be. Sometimes they they might say like in a missing persons, for example, you'll know it's a missing person. You won't know what it is, um, but you'll know it's a missing person. So that's not totally blind. Um, you've got prompts basically. So what the tasker does, he sets up the envelope, puts a number on the envelope. Um, some, In some cases, they have a monitor, which is a person that supervises the tasking and the operation of the tasking in the room. So there's no contamination, um, you know, no other funny business coming in to your thoughts. Um, sometimes you'll have weird little things come in um, and that'll upset you as you're going along, like the dog might bark or something, and you 
your other things will quickly come into your mind. Um, we usually write those down the side. You have a blank page. You have your tasker number or viewer number. You have your task number, which is your target number. Uh, you put your date, um, what time you start the session, how long the session goes for, because a lot of the time it's full on um, so that you need to have a break. So you'll have session one and then you end time and then you'll come back again and have a ne another session if you can do it. It's pretty hard to come back in multiple times, um, you know, and, and stay on the same track. Um, so what you do is you, you have the number and you have your sheet, you get your sheet all set up. So you've got your name, time, all of that sort of business. And you have your odd thoughts that keep popping in. If any do come in, you write those down on the right hand side. Um, you, the good people, I'm no pro at this, um, but the good remote viewers, they have their own sets of like ideograms and gestalts set up so that when you start to draw, because what happens is you put your pen on the number, the task number or the target number, and you just draw. Whatever comes out, you just draw. Um, and then, you, like, you're keeping your head totally clear as best you can, which is pretty hard. Um, and then you draw. So Some of the remote viewers are brilliant, of course. They Their ideograms will come straight in, so they'll, they'll go right and you'll have, oh, okay, it's a mountain. Um, or they you have certain drawings for certain, uh, I don't know, I can't think, certain things, you know, like mountains, water, metal, uh, plastics, vegetation, sky, uh, man-made, right. not man-made, animal, non-animal, all of those sort of things. So the good ones have those pre-set up so that in their heads, you know, they'll just draw that straight out. Um, so what you do is you put your pen on the number, you draw whatever comes out, and then you write what you feel, what you see, um, any form of describing word, nouns usually, um, to describe what's going on. Uh, you can sense some things at times. You can smell things, um, see things. A couple of times, I don't know why it's happened, but a couple of times when I was learning, I ended up accidentally, I made a mistake. I didn't know the tasker um, or the targeter. I thought I could trust this, this person. Um, anyway, I went ahead, but I didn't give any reports. Um, I found out halfway through this is not safe. Um, you really, it's the same as dousing with the missing persons or healing or anything like that. You're safety first for everybody involved. And it's the same with remote viewing. You still set up your protection boundaries the same as when you're dousing or when you're right. medium shipping or healing. You still set up your boundaries and your protection because you don't know what, you're playing with especially if you don't know that um tasker it's a big mistake always go with somebody that's got a reputable target list um and a good reputation there's some good sites online where you can get good safe targets um this time i did a target i was uh, i've only i was only probably two years into it i'm self-taught um i learned this one with Joseph McMonagall. It's one of the best books I found. Joseph was one of the original um, that worked with the military in the secrecy of the remote viewing project. I find him brilliant because I'm a bit sciencey and I like structure. Um, the same with my Reiki. I stick to my rules you know I like to keep my boundaries up tight um Joseph is brilliant he, he's very strict uh, I like that so what happened when I was doing this target um somehow I ended up the target um so I was lying on the ground and looking up and I could see the person that was shooting me and it was all in slow motion so that 
like I could I was slowly looking up because I, I couldn't figure out what was going on because I was only supposed to be watching you know I wasn't supposed to be it <laughs> right but, right but it was really good like I like I'm going to try and practice and get better at becoming the actual target you know it's probably not that appropriate but um that way you can sense more you can smell you can feel you can touch hi Leanna you know so that um you can get a better de overall description hey crazy witch um so yeah I'm lying down on the ground and the target was to describe um the this incident um but there were no we didn't really know if halfway through I got stuck and I said well maybe this person that's asking the question is the perp so once I finished it because like I was lying there watching it all in slow motion you know getting shot like I had a hole in my chest you know I could feel everything and it was all in slow motion and um I decided okay I'll have a quick good look around and um, get the hell out of here as fast as I possibly can because I didn't trust the tasker at that stage. So then I got out um, and then wrote everything down and decided there's absolutely no way I'm forwarding this information. No way. So I just kept it all to myself because I don't know if that person was just trying to find out if anyone knew they were the perp. Um, Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So, I, like, I'm really careful with, I try to be really careful with what I do um, because of those things, you know, those grey areas that we all, all the shrinks and that talk about, I get it as far as the grey areas go, you know, like, we don't know. No one knows. You know, we don't know who's doing what or if there's some sort of mass control. We, we don't know. So that's why I'm super strict with, um, all my records, the same with all the cases and that we do. I've got, you know, I stash them. Um, I've always been careful with record, you know, making from the information security background. I verify things. Even when I'm dousing, I'll go back a couple of days later and go through the whole thing again because everything, the remote viewing, the dousing, the healing, everything is only for this moment in time, you know, this that moment in time in another second the person or whatever we're looking for or they could be gone you know moved on or it's only for that second in time so i'm very careful with recording and uh verifying stuff um i'm big on verification but that was a weird one um and that's why i'm very very careful and i tell everybody be careful with whoever is giving the tasks or the targets um you don't know what the intention is if the if the intention is pure and clean good but if there's some other funny business going on you know behind the scenes like you might think you've got one one um description in the task like or the target but you don't know if that tasker has something underneath that task you know that like they might have a sentence uh draw describe uh you know the target number such and such but then that they may have something else underneath that you don't know about so always go to reputable taskers uh, i'll put a list up later on but there's some really good targets um, there's also another thing I use, which is really good to get you grounded and practice with your intuition and all that. Uh, there's a modern version now. I'm not mod. It's called ESP Trainer. This. It's really, really good because it practices getting you to trust your intuition. Like you hit these buttons and they'll ping with these beautiful photos of different locations it's really a good thing to practice with this this is an old version this guy was one of the original in the same team as joseph that set this up he's he's amazing but it's fun and you get to see some really beautiful places all right so i'm gonna throw you a curveball yep 
I'm gonna give you a target. Okay. Yes. Okay, let me get some paper. Ladies and gentlemen, this has not been rehearsed. This is something that came to me tonight. This is something that I will be covering on another show. It will not be on a cold case show. This is something that is uh, in question. Nobody knows nothing about it besides two other people, besides myself. Are we gonna and this is how we operate. Hang on, I just got to get a pen. Okay. Right up. All right, here we go. And action. And there it is. And I will actually blow it up. And I cannot blow it up. Okay. She's a pretty gal. Okay. I feel this one's missing or oh, UTL. Uh I don't feel she's alive and well. Um, she wasn't abducted. No accident. Um, Foul play involved. Two perpetrators. Not far from where she was last seen. Um. No family involved. Not to do with work. Jealousy involved. Um, something to do with love. Seems to have gone in a car. Seems like it was an accident. Some sort of a head hurt. Intact. Clues. There are clues. There's some sort of clue on a laptop or something. 
a big clue. That seems to be the main clue. Like it's going right off. Um, the perp knew her, but she didn't know the perp. I don't think she's been gone for long. Seems fairly recent. It doesn't seem like she's listed as missing. It's telling me there's no case open. I don't know if I'm right on any of this. That was a huge big no. Um, she's like only one mile away. From wherever, if if she is missing. Yeah, it tells me she can't be located. Uh, is there anything you want to ask? Sale. So. Anything you want to ask? Was it human? Human? Oh, you're joking. Hang on. It's not a robot. It says she's human. Am I wrong? I said... No, I said, was it human? The lady or the perp? The perp. Oh, okay. I was asking about the lady. Hang on. Uh uh. Not human. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Hang on. Let's go a bit further. A car? she in a car accident? <laughs> That's interesting, Grizzy. That's a good question. I'll add that to my pages of questions that I keep adding. Okay, so that's a that's that's good thinking, Grizzy. Um because I don't usually go straight there. I usually good, good thinking. Good thinking, Gris. Anything else? <laughs> God, I hope some of these are right. <laughs> so yeah, you're absolutely right on a lot of it. So now for another twist. Okay. Supernatural. Okay, hang on. Oh, doesn't like the question. It need we need to define supernatural. We need another word. 
it doesn't like supernatural it won't give me a clear answer it's um it's one of those um is the perpetrator from another dimension okay try that yep that worked yep um do they come from another planet yep this is a big i'm putting myself out here now <laughs> 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 you watch you better watch those dolls <laughs> no it, very interesting but i don't understand like if it was a vehicle you know and say this lady was swiped upstairs then the vehicle could possibly be one of their vehicles that possibly you know you never worked on one like this before no different yes good it's good because I, all the different questions that i don't usually ask um no th this is good so i'm gonna leave this with you because we're doing the show thursday uh-huh it's not oh. a missing person case we don't know if it is dog related okay. or dog man related okay yay <laughs> but i feel sorry for the lady either way but that, i can't that's... say anything else because you hit on everything else okay i'll so yeah i'll put, I'll put so, that away ladies now. and gentlemen this is how it actually works it's fun it's so much fun um with the remote viewing it's very similar only you i find i can't get as many answers as quickly as i want i'm a bit impatient i guess um and i don't feel i'm good enough in some ways with the remote viewing to get as much as i need um but <laughs> that okay I'm going to switch my head now and go upstairs a bit more. <laughs> yeah. So that's good. It, that's fun. It's, uh, yeah. So uh, I got that tonight and uh, I debated with the guy about this case and uh, I agreed to do the show on it with a, with another, another gentleman. Uh, so, and uh, uh, I'm getting a copy of the autopsy report. But I, I know I know the gist of the case, but you 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 hit on everything. I'll say, really? I'll tell you that much, but there's just there's there's some room for debate. Cool. So and I don't like debate. It's either is or it is not. So yes, very interesting. It's hard to verify some of these ones. Like in the remote viewing ones, and un unless you actually find that target you know like it's hard to get feedback like one day they were looking for a plane in the middle of the jungle somewhere in south america um the target was a certain plane that had gone missing they were looking for this these military planes they just went missing um they found one but they also found three others close by so and then you know the that the other business we had where the boys disappeared i i can't let that one out of my head um you really want feedback <laughs> Sometimes. i wish i could give you a few back ladies and gentlemen stand by we'll be right back right -a.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Cat Chit Chat Corner with Grizzly on the Hunt. So, this edition is brought to you by Western Kentucky Bigfoot Paranormal Investigations, LLC, by Don Wyden. Thank you very much, sir, for another edition. So, uh, crazy with things are really as simple as one as other. Most things are more complex than others. They can be, but Cat has never worked on a case that is paranormal in nature. No. So I'm she did not see that, that coming. So no. I'm excited. She, <laughs> she uh, actually hit on a lot of facts that we know. But yes, I could not speak of it because the show has not been done yet. But we'll elaborate when the show starts. And we're going to cover it. So, but yes. It but is, there it's... are some debate on what actually happened. And I said, let me have the photograph and I will submit it to a few of people that have some abilities and we'll find out what results we get. And they're like, what? I'm like, yeah. They're like, what? I'm like, yeah. yeah. Wow. And I'm like, I have one of them do it tonight. They're like, no. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, yes, a very interesting crazy witch. So, Tiffany, absolutely. It's so much fun. Like, it, the other day I was watching one of your shows and um, all these questions, and I thought if I had a list of all those questions, you know, just because have, have many people doused about the Bigfoots and that, Big Feeties? And have they acted so like do they for- I, I don't I don't uh those cases we we leave up to four one one and you know UTL unable to locate. But this one is something that is recent. Yeah, it felt recent. Something <laughs> that was used in a car. Oh. You hit a lot of facts. Oh, I'm only nice. that. That's so, nice to know. Yes. And somebody else, somebody else, somebody else. <laughs> yeah, he's a good one. <laughs> yeah, is has got the information too. So, you know, I just wanted to see what people. Hello, Michelle. Welcome to the show. Hi, Hi there. Thanks for coming on. How you doing? I cool. threw her a curveball, and I was just, uh, you know. So the crazy thing is, the answer is usually in the question. The more answers that you have, the more questions you have. Yeah, Tiffany, but I am the type that I like to do things where it is not contaminated in blind. Yeah. Just like the board. I give you all the information, and you all tell me. Now. That was a curveball. It was not something that's tricky. It's a lot of you all have never worked on a case like that before. And I just wanted to see what information you all pick up. Straight off, Chris, the description. You know, when the, Michelle, just catch you up. We've, um, Chris sent me a curveball for a missing person. Um, and we don't know if they're missing from uh, 3808, 3808. You had an orb uh, to your left of your shoulder that just went to oh, a little okay, beam. Thanks. Yeah. Um, yeah. So when I was dousing straight away, one of the questions didn't, I had to redefine the question to be able to get the answer because I'm not used to dealing with these, uh, this type of case. Um, my lingo is not up to date. So, you know, like you change courses and you, or you talk to different people that are, their lingo is within their creative, you know, whatever they're into. Same thing was with this straight off the wording. We had to redefine the words, so it's very interesting. It was interesting so when she looked at me. It was like, that ain't making any sense. <laughs> it's like yeah. it, it's not adding up. I'm like, I know it's not. I'm thinking, I know it's not adding up, girl, because you don't know what I know, yeah. right? She's like, I need to. I need to ask another question. I'm like, well, how can I ask you to ask another question without telling you what it is? Yeah. So that's what it was hard, you know. And when I yeah. asked you, when I asked you that question, when I asked her that question, she was yeah. like, huh? Yeah, She's like, oh, goody. So. <laughs> it, it, but uh, that, that really is interesting, you know, 
because of how the world's turning now with all the AI and all that stuff, um, it's very yeah. interesting. Very Michelle's interesting. like, what the hell are y'all talking about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I'm happy to listen. Um, I, 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 I can sit much. here. She's like, I can, I, I can actually feel her right now. Like, I have no idea. I'm just gonna sit there and just <laughs> smile. And I did that I on one it. show, right? Because I couldn't understand a lick what they were saying because they're dialect and they're from another country. And this country is not that big, but the higher you, the north you go, the worse it got. And it sounded like Vikings, but a hundred times worse than Vikings. Okay. And when they would talk, I would smile and wave. And uh, <laughs> and they all just stared right. at me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they'd all just stare at me. And I was like, damn, my, my, my computer's freezing up. I'm like, something ain't right. And I was like... <laughs> <laughs> and never, and they just, did. yeah, and, and they wouldn't move. And I'm like, hello. They're like, we're okay. waiting on you. And I'm like, oh, it's my bad yeah. for coming in. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> that's what I do to scary neighbors. Hi, <laughs> poor Tiffany. I don't know either what you're all talking about. So, Tiffany, uh, didn't I? I, I thought I sent Tiffany, uh, Tiffany, I sent you a picture. So, I wanted you to work on that, right? Yeah, I did send you that picture. I just want to get you some feedback and uh, I'll circle back with you off the air on it. But I did cat the same thing. And uh, I don't know what that was, but something just touched my foot. <laughs> don't. <th> oh! <gasps> what is it? It's a doll. Oh, no. Gr Michelle, Grizzy's got these dolls. They play up like really play up it literally <laughs> crawled on top of my foot i about pooping myself <laughs> i'm not joking ladies and gentlemen <laughs> you all laugh you're giving me it's, it's right. just staring at me i want to reach down did, 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 did you did you hear that bang yeah. <laughs> you all think it's funny no i don't these, these are spooky dolls Oh wow! Which one is it? That's uh, Hansel. Oh, okay. Now He's... he was up there when the show started. Before the show, because I looked at him before I sat down. I'm, I'm, done the show. I'm not making this up. They... I can't wait till I get my other camera. I, I've got. I got to get a camera above me so y'all can look down. Yeah. So crazy witch is <laughs> laughing. Tiffany, I know that so Stanley, you heard that bang too, didn't you? I Don't went to go down to, to move my foot, and it was like next to, anyway. It don't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, St uh, crazy witches, I'm laughing at your reactions. <laughs> well, you know what. When something feels like it crawls on top of your foot and the first thing you want to do is kick the living hell out of it, that's exactly what I almost did. Because I was like, what is that? And it's dark in my studio. It looks like I got a sun behind me, okay? But I don't. It, you know, and my floor is dark. I got wooden floors with, with the, 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 it doesn't matter, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> When's the auction? <laughs> At least it wasn't a spider. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I I'd would deal with the spider. That. Yeah, I deal with the spider any day besides Ansel or Gretel. Mm. Yeah. So, what's the message there? What's the message? Hell, <laughs> I know. I went out. Look, who's I went out. No, and Michelle. I Michelle Grizzy's had these dolls for a while. And bought a special microphone with a long cord hooked up to my tape recorder. So I can put in the middle of these dolls. These are, this is a conference microphone. So you can record a group of people instead of putting a tape recorder in the middle. It's got a long cord. So, and uh, somebody, I don't know if it was Irene, I had Hanson Girls separated. And. Uh, oh, no, don't tell me another one's down there. I don't know what that is. Hold on. I thought it was an eyeball or a head. I don't know what it is. It's black. And it was not there a minute ago. So I'm not wearing shoes. I'm wearing socks. 
<laughs> I don't know what that is. It looks like a tire stem valve cover or something. I don't know. But anyways, during the show, one of the people in the audience is like, hey, you need to put hands on girl back together. And I'm like, what? They're like, yeah, you got them sub separated. I'm like, what? <laughs> and I looked up and they weren't together. And I'm like, how did you know? <laughs> They're like, they told me. And I'm like, shut the front door. I'm like, you got it. I'm like, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I had to look to make sure I had no other cameras on because I got other cameras in the studio. So I was like, make sure I had no other live feeds on. But anyways, but that bang, I felt it. And you all heard it. And, and yeah. it doesn't matter. So the people that don't know, that don't watch the show, are probably thinking, yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever, my gr grits. So. I wouldn't have those dolls in my house. <laughs> Can't you know, auction them? <laughs> auction them. Yeah. <laughs> you imagine. I, sometimes I go on eBay and I look for weirdo stuff. Um, occasionally something haunted will come up and you think, oh, wow. Like you can feel it straight off. Wouldn't touch it. Mm -mm. Mm, I have a black spider that comes up the window. It's, a, you know, about that big. Not not that big, but they're black and furry? scary looking. Black and scary looking. Furry and, ones? Um, no. No, it's not a furry one, <clears throat> but um, they're venomous, but they're a house spider. But they, she's usually pretty good. But um, sometimes when I'm talking to somebody, you know, or during a reading or something, she'll come up the window, like right into my vision. Ugh. And I'll go, okay, <laughs> what do you got to say? <laughs> What's going Spidey's on? Spidey's in the webs. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I don't know, but I got the eebie jeebies though, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, it literally, it felt like, it, it, i tell you what it felt like, ladies. It felt like your your feet or your foot was just sitting there and something just went right on top of it. Yes. I <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't like that. Oh, no. I'm not, I'm, I'm not too happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> They're always playing up. <laughs> but did you see it fall? Because I didn't. I didn't hear it. I didn't. I didn't. I, I mean, it was up there. Heard the thunk. I don't know, ladies. Yeah, I'm putting them back together. They were happy, and your cat balls went off. So yeah. So on the on another show, ladies, uh, we're sitting here, and you know, usually I have my cat balls uh, out, but they're turned off. I have to. You literally tape them to my mic stand so people can see them. And I actually have them on my phone stands. You better uh, show Michelle Grizzy. My my phone like cell phone stands. Real cats. <laughs> and uh and and the reason why I don't do it anymore and I have to <laughs> tape them because they throw them at me while I'm on on live shows, while I'm doing live, when I'm on a show. They'll you'll see them hit me in the head or they'll hit me in the <laughs> Yes, it's fair dinkum, Michelle. It's fair dinkum. Like, and <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm being serious. Yeah, it's and fair, then, it's fair dink. And then I have extra cell phones, so I will send a link to a cell phone, and I won't touch the dolls, and I will take my cell phone to my 75 inch monitor. And during the show, we were talking, and next thing you know, you hear the tape being ripped, and I'm just, I'm sitting there like. Try not to look, and everybody's like hearing the next thing. No, you see the cell phone come flying, and it hits me in the. Yeah. And I about went off. I, I mean, that's just like, and I, you would not believe the tape I had on. It. It's fair. You could tape, was there that day. Yeah, I know. Yep. Unbelievable. I the only thing that hits me in the head here is blowflies. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm talking between the legs. <laughs> Yeah, it really did. It really did. Because I think it was my first show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like wow. I think it was my first show, and we said that we, we'd discuss anything. And then within the first five minutes of the show, we were discussing everything. <laughs> oh yeah, it was That's awful. amazing. Yeah, I got an email the next day. I was like, yeah. Now hold on, let me do it right. 
Yeah, I just want to let you know I was driving to work and I damn near wrecked my car from laughing so hard. <laughs> so, yeah. It was wrong. So, I need a disclaimer. Tiffany says, question. Somebody asked me today, where are you getting your information from the vision? I don't know what to say, but thoughts and memories have impressions. I'm a baby psychic. Figure it out. Uh, so, basically, what people are asking you is when they ask you that question, is it from your spirit guides from a heavenly side or are they from spirit guides from the dark side? Uh, that's what they're trying to figure out. Are they spiritual good or they are evil? That's what they're trying to figure out. Because some people don't know. And if you don't know, then that can cause a problem. So, yes. There you go. Well, you you want to add to that? The good guys don't give you bad messages. No. So. Yeah, the bad, the bad guys usually steer you astray. Yeah. Hmm. They're the spanners in the works, I find. Sorcerers, some other people call them. They put um, gremlins. spanners in the works. Hmm. Oh, they're good. Now, look, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. You see all that bright light behind me? There's that energy I can up again. I'm telling you, um, here we go. I don't know what it is. As soon as Michelle comes on, lo and behold, crap starts breaking loose. <laughs> now, if I have to go buy well, me that's, a cup. That's my buddy you're picking if up. If I have to go buy me a cup <laughs> to protect myself with you, then so be it. <laughs> so. Oh, what? it's not me. It's not me. No, well, it happens all the time, was you, it, it, not like that. I never had one <laughs> crawl up on my foot and go boom. <laughs> <laughs> I um, you know, it actually intrigues me how inanimate am objects become uh, either possessed or um, energetically mobile. That's very interesting stuff. Oh, come stay with me for a while. Didn't you have a heyday? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You have a heyday. <laughs> so like, I really thought about taping them all together. So all oh, look at that. Did you see that? Yeah. Yeah. I felt that. I had to put yeah. extra stuff in my beard because on shows I look like a damn uh chia pet. It would fluff <laughs> up. Yes. Because of the energy I'm done. Yes, yeah, so I have to. So static. <laughs> did, what, whatever it is, I don't know if it's Jackie. I don't know. So uh, now Kelly, Joe, and some other people uh, will tell me exactly who it is or what it is. But uh, I don't know. Anyways, what you were just saying, Michelle, about you know why some things <laughs> get possessed and others don't. Hmm. Like when, um, you know, you touch some furniture and you can get a flash of where what was going on at the time. And, yeah, I wonder why some things keep imprints and others don't. Like, um, Because something, especially timber product, timber, antique timber is a big, big one. But I, my belief is that um, whoever owned it before or previously or even previous lives was very attached to that piece of furniture for some reason. And it's the attachment that that um, and, and that it has this residual energy in it. So it can be good or bad. Yeah, it's weird how some things keep it and others don't. Like, yeah, you have um, to wonder who, what type of people, you know, were around there at, you know, like why some things and why not others? Why houses and, you know, some houses I can understand, you know, because you've got deaths or whatever in the house. What is that? <laughs> that is an EMF detector. That is showing you that I've got activity going on around me. I have no doubt you have activity going on around you. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I am feeling it. He cops it. <laughs> the problem is you get off on it. That's a big issue, isn't it? <laughs> That is just the term I'm looking for. <laughs> I, I, they said they think they like you. I think they like you too. Do you like Michelle? Make it go red. I don't know what color it went to because I'm too far away to look. That is shy now. 
Yeah. They don't like the direct ones. They only answer when we're not watching. <laughs> I know, right? Let me hold it down a little bit so we can see it. There we go. Are you happy? <laughs> I'm happy. Look, I'm shaking. I got my arm like propped up on my studio <laughs> desk. I, I'm, really? I'm shaking. Yeah, oh, I'm shaking. I, I can't hold it still. I have learned there's nothing to be afraid of. Um, I've been surrounded by spirits. So like most, most of us were coming in as children surrounded by spirit activity um we some of us have dealt with it in different ways um <gasps> it blocked it out 5500 boy one one just went right in front of you oh <laughs> yeah nice. did you see that big orb that went right in front of cat big orb wasn't it <laughs> see see what I, i'm feeling it i mean i'm being touched i'm being touched ladies and gentlemen yeah, you got me being touched now. Cut it out. Yeah, I'm all <laughs> goosey now. All my legs yeah. are all goosey. I'm being touched. Yeah, <laughs> got a got a male male energy in here. So. <laughs> oh my lord. Yeah, uh, Tiffany saw the whoa. I just got touched again. I got I got I got out of my forehead. It was like knock knock. Yeah, I'm being touched again. Yeah, go for it. Tiffany, no, are you only new it. at this or is, is you know, like, is this a new gift that you're just awakening to or you're used to it from when you were little? It's going again. Yeah, but what's yeah. really weird, it's like it's one light. It's not peeking up. Yeah. That's what's strange. Yeah, because usually it flows like. Yeah, it, it it fluctuates. Now it's getting like the third one from the first. Yes, but when it touched me, it was like it was like it was, it, was, it, it was like playing a record player. It was like rapping. It was like <laughs> oh, yeah. that's what I felt like, you know, like it was getting ready to rap or something. <laughs> yeah, right. It's going now. Oh, okay. so, well, I'm like you're all having fun with me with my 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 music. music. I can't even talk. Uh, and Tiffany says I'm new practicing clairvoyance. Started last year. Uh, I'm in past sensing some rare visions when I was little. <gasps> I just got touched again. What's well, going on? <laughs> Did, it's you, not funny. Not. I don't like being touched. <laughs> really, no, I get touched all the time. <laughs> Going it's like on. you know you have to stop and go okay why are you touching me what what's going on i don't want to yeah. ask why you're touching me because i don't want to know the answer yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <She's laughing. laughs> wow so tiffany it's it's really coming on full ball yeah by the look. The, yeah and yeah. you just have to be discerning when you're learning just be a little bit discerning about um the type of energies coming in it can actually make you sick they can make you sick. They don't mean to, but they can. Or sometimes they do mean to, but depending on what's coming in. But when you up the channel like that, you you are subject to <clears throat> good and bad. You know, it's like meeting people or letting people in your life, you know, same thing. Are you good energy in my studio tonight? Definitely. <laughs> well, that, that's good. Same are you night, bad energy? Right? If you're bad <laughs> energy, make it go red if you're bad. I was about to say, if it went red, I'm turning it off. Okay. It, makes me feel <laughs> well, then it only flashed the orange and yellow bit. They I know. The, that's, yeah. the problem is, it's that it's up here and it's not yeah. going from up here to up here. It's, yeah. it's, so it's, 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 it's neutral. It's, they're, saying, they're saying they're neither. Yeah. They're neither. See, it likes you. I'm telling you. You like <laughs> Michelle? Of course they do. You <laughs> like Michelle? Make it go haywire. That oh, a that, beat. Yeah, see that that never does it for me. Yeah. No, They're going shy. <laughs> you like you rubbing my head? <laughs> yes. I, why, why would you? Why are you just gonna laugh at that? <laughs> I would. I would. I've always been able to read people, but I can really read them. Uh, LOL. And oh, I gain telepathy too. I can, if if I can connect. Are you big on your protection, Tiffany? Yeah, she's been right. having ringing for two weeks. Crazy. I, I knew Crazy Witch would be laughing. He always laughs. laughs. It's glowing. 
Oh, yeah. Why are you glowing? Stop. Does it actually feel hot? The machine? Oh, look, it's like a little animal. What do you mean it's like an animal? What do you see that on? The light on the left side of it looks like a little, like a, I don't know, <laughs> something. It's a bit hard to tell with the the virtual screen you've got. It warps things. A I know, bit. right? <clears throat> so, well, I'm hearing animals. It scared the hell out of me. Oh, she just no, animals are good. Yeah. Well, it's your animals. I just figured that out. So huh? my animals, yeah, yeah. they're the good animals. Yeah, they're beautiful. See, they're good animals. Yeah, see, <clears throat> he likes it. I'm being touched. I'm being yeah. touched. <laughs> they like I'm being it. touched. Look. Well, you're I nice and hairy, so why wouldn't they touch you? Like, you know, they're animals. Oh, <laughs> oh. Where's my FTL paranormal when I need you? That's good, Tiffany. Always keep up your protection. Yeah, I did go through the stage of um, seeing lots of bad stuff, like weird bad stuff, um, which did freak me out at the time. I think that's kind of initiation. Um, I had to start, you know, taking control of who was allowed in my energy field or allowed in my, you know. So um, that did help. Now I rarely see um, spooky stuff like bad energy, <clears throat> dark energy. I can't um, hold it still, is... ladies and gentlemen. Y'all got me so nervous. It's okay. <laughs> we'll look after you, Grizzy. The hell y'all in Australia? What the hell are you going to do? And watch us. <laughs> yeah, so you've come through that, Tiffany. So that sounds like you you're on the right track. And yeah, as I said, I really, really get stuff now. Sometimes I'll pick up something um occasionally. Uh, but it doesn't stick around long. Yeah, it kind of goes straight through and then racks off. Yeah, we have a lot of spiritual activity here because it's on old gold. It's on quartz and gold. So um, quartz and gold, like that mineral iron stone. <clears throat> yeah, they love it. They love hanging out here because it, it that it's um, and it's on a ley line as well. Energy line here it goes straight yeah. through the house. Oh yeah. wow! <clears throat> See, I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> They're just yeah. confirming it for me. They're going, yeah, yeah. I they feel like it. I got a finger going across my forehead. <laughs> so they're attracted, attached to the gold here. So they won't leave because of the gold that's still under the ground. Um, so many miners and and that, that, that hang out down the back. Um, a lot of elemental energy here as well. I've seen portals here also um, where the fairies were coming through. Um, oh, nice. Yeah, it was um, quite a um, honour to see it, uh, to be shown it, to be allowed to see it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, generally they'll open that when they need to come in. They they like to um, fix, you know, diseased trees and things down the back. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, so when you stop fearing, yes, you, you get to see all the good things. If you're it's funny. Them, you yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting that like, you've ended up in a similar area as here, all the yeah. gold country as well. Yeah. And, like, the energies are very similar too because, like, we've got mm. the ley line further up the road, you know, not that mm. far from us. Yeah. But it's, it's not an easy energy to live with. No. It, no, no, not at all. Mm. Like, I'm constantly ticker, 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 tickering. and But as soon as I get out of town, 20 minutes either side, the ticker, ticker goes straight away. Like it's yeah. high energetic, like. But yeah. it's interesting. Um, Yolanda says if the, someone's energy is lower than her, she gets sick and hates the feeling. Yeah, that's happened to me too, especially when doing Reiki. If someone's yeah. got stuff, I'll get. I'll feel very, uh, very nauseous. Like I'll have to break contact and go and re, reground and release before I reconnect again. So yeah, I I agree with that too. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. If you ground properly, you can, and you're allowing the flow, um, it doesn't happen as much. Yeah. Uh, and also, the um, 
like if you've got the pain coming through through you it doesn't last as long it doesn't seem to last as long yeah it's okay to be shown but you don't want it lingering there and no yeah yeah absolutely yeah so I did a um, house down near you at Ballarat. I had to. Uh, the real estate couldn't sell this beautiful big place. Oh, did you Whoa. see that? Yes, it looked like <laughs> it had wings. Whoa! It just flew down across your left shoulder there. Yeah, it looked like it had wings and legs. Now my head's gone right off with that. That was crazy. Sorry, you were saying Ballarat. Ballarat's very, oh, very yeah, yeah. Story. Um, there, there was history. This beautiful old building, they couldn't sell it, so I was involved with the real estate agent, and um, they want. Um, he's a friend of mine, and um, no one else knew what we were up to, um, but we did a clearing there, and it all went back to the Chinese and the gold. Um, and a big flood, a massive big flood that happened down there a long time ago that wiped out the bridge at Ballarat. I don't know, it was early 1900s maybe, 1800s. But that took some doing. It was pretty major. I had a – it was major. Really took some doing. They seem to be all interconnected. Pat, is that your end with the lawnmower or something? It's this dick, excuse me, next door, who oh, loves okay. to have a brush, one of those leaf blowers. Okay. Why? I just want to make sure it wasn't on my end because yeah, nobody else was saying that. anything and I was just sitting there and it. this little thing was going off and I'm just like, okay, I'm being touched. And mm -hmm. everybody's asking about noises and I'm like, okay, I'm going. I'm seeing things with wings and legs. and Oh, my God. He yeah, also... Hi, Luna. Yeah, I was gonna say there's lots of that sort of stuff, and like people like to go on ghost tours in um, as, you know, old asylums and old prisons and stuff like that. Well, you know, that's just a recipe for disaster. You'll you'll kind of come home with something. Yeah, yeah. If they like your energy, then they're coming home with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to be so like careful. That's why I always I'm big on on permission and all the etiquette, you know, ethics and because you don't want to get her helping look at that and tell me how's the moo cows moo cows are great um stardust mum has a new baby boy i know sun dancer he's doing well despite the weather being absolutely crap horrible. have you got snow down there no just cold winds and dull weather and fog and dinky sort of yeah yeah it's same here it's really hard to do anything. Like in the house, it's like minus 10. You know, you just run from room to room. You can't, I can't function properly, you know. No, I don't I kinda, really want to go to the library. As soon as I've been outside, I feel better. Um, yeah, same. Yeah. But it's hard to get out there. Not in that one. That one killed the meter, didn't it? It killed it. Oh, you're trying to see who's talking. Yeah. <laughs> it's not funny. I know. It's not I'm funny. Not I've seen them well. fling things around. It is, actually. <laughs> There's three of them, Michelle. I think they come from the same place, don't they, Grizz? Uh, four of them did, yes. Oh, four. Uh, uh, well, uh, five did. Five did. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No, little, little chucky dolls, I'd call them. Yeah, <laughs> without the hair. <laughs> <laughs> Strong chuckies. <laughs> uh, no, no, I just, no, I wouldn't live with that. No way. It's too many things to worry about. But this, that, <laughs> there was this doll I had that I found and, um, she was sitting on the table one night. I was told busy about it, and she lit up. Just that's she's made out of material. There's absolutely no way she can light up. There goes another one. Above your anyway, head. she she lit up, and um, I took her to the meeting place, the indigenous <clears throat> center, and I thought you know it'd be best if she returned to her fellow friends, 
Anyway, I went down to check on her a week later. Hell, oh, well done. Um, and they, I said, where is she, you know? And um, they said, oh, she's out in the cupboard in the back storeroom. I said, I'll have her back, thanks, which was pretty unethical. But there was no way I was going to leave her lying in this cupboard. Anyway, I brought her home and I introduced her to Grizz. <laughs> and now she's back away in, in the cabinet with a stick of selenite on her lap. <laughs> That's I torture. I, this was pretty freaky. Like, I get it. I've never seen a doll like Oh, up. and you talk about freaky, and, and you, and you, and you, uh, that's why I appreciate yeah. your freaky. Yeah. What's wrong with I don't know. What's wrong with her? What, what, what's, what's wrong with that? What? Now, I, now, now, let's define freaky. Okay, because people yeah, well, on the audio well, in the morning is thinking the worst thing. We are talking about dolls that light up <laughs> that, that does not have any electronics, ladies and gentlemen, that are made out of cloths and cotton. Yeah. So. Yeah, so I don't know why she's lighting up because that doesn't seem like a bad thing. It seems like she's trying to help you. Yeah, it was a good thing. Like, I, I wasn't afraid. Oh, I just went, wow, you know, like, oh, what's okay. going on? So I'm going to start calling you both of y'all ovaries of steel then. Okay, then. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but this wasn't like your dolls. Like, my doll didn't jump or anything. She just lit up. She was, like, real pretty. Well, then she shouldn't be in the cupboard, Kat. I know. That's why I went and got her back. Well, where and, is she now? Um, she's sitting out with a selenite on her lap. Well, oh, she's not in the cupboard, though. No, no, no. She can see out. Like, <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Didn't Phew. want to trap her in there. Like, I was so <laughs> upset that, you know, when I found that she was in the cupboard at the storeroom, at the, you know, she would have sat there for the rest of her. Who knows? So I got her back. Uh, they weren't that impressed, but why donate something special and then throw it in a cupboard? No way. So I bought her home. So she's oh, happy yeah, with this. The Faye are amazing, and they Faye are amazing. They can be very mischievous, though. So they do like to to move your stuff around and steal things, but they actually are, you know, can be quite good. Yeah, like yeah. I don't look for the bad in anything. Yeah, you know, I whatever happens, I try and put a good yeah, light on it. The word, but you can spell it. <laughs> <laughs> Because otherwise you can get yourself all trapped in the fear side of things. I don't like to do that. So no matter what's yes. <laughs> He's still getting touched, Yolanda. He's like sitting there going. Yes, I am. I yeah. am. Can you see my rosy cheeks going yeah. Dark, dark red? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Break them out. <laughs> do you want me to leave so you can be left alone? <laughs> oh, that's even better. Yeah. <laughs> Leave him all alone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes, Stephanie, I can manifest your own things. You are correct. And I'm trying, I'm sitting here wishing and I'm thinking of nice things right now. Yeah. And it's not working. Flowers, gemstones. Uh, we're past the flowers. <laughs> I, I can assure you of that. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, crazy Witch, what are you doing? Very interesting stuff about where the uh fae comes from but the shiny ones the ancient ireland awesome i can't spell the name the fairies but yes i do believe in fairies there's a difference between orbs and fairies uh i think that uh, what cat had just a minute ago was a fairy it looked like it had wings and legs so mm -hmm. i don't know uh we had to go back and and stop that uh, video and look at it very interesting yes uh, it definitely one. wanted to make itself known didn't it Yes, yeah. very well. Mm. So, yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's cool. So, they want to know where you got your dolls at, ladies. Uh, mine I found in a, I think it was a op shop. Yeah, op shop. <laughs> no dolls here. No dolls here. Uh, I've only Although got that I one. Have... I used to have other ones, but... Yeah, I think there are some somewhere. They're teeny-weeny little ones. 
in a little box. They're called Burry dolls. Oh, but yeah. I don't know where they are. You haven't got one of those Russian ones, Gris. Then you'd be in all sorts of trouble. Oh, you just know, what I need. Up. The one you open it up and it'd be yeah, multiple and inside and small. Yeah, just what I need. <laughs> Birthday. <laughs> 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 you wouldn't like that, Prezi. <laughs> so it was interesting because I had somebody reach out to me today and they're like, so I have these dolls and I think that you need to buy them. I'm like, no. And they're like, look, I've seen your shows. And they want to be with your dolls. I'm like, no. And they're like, I want to give you each of these dolls for five dollars a piece. I'm like, no. And uh, they're like, I'll ship to you for free. And I'm like, look, let me tell you something. You're trying to tell me that you're going to give me each of your dolls for five dollars a pop, and they're thirteen dolls, and you're going to ship to me for free. Now you're telling me you got some issues. I don't need your issues. I got my own. And he <laughs> never would say another word to me. I'm like, thank you. I'm not ignorant, ladies and gentlemen. I may play dumb, but I'm not that ignorant. So, yes. Uh, Rebecca, welcome to the show. Uh, ever consider dolls racking up more since Sonia has been on lately? Uh, do they miss her? They probably do. Uh, I guess she's back home because I know she went on a trip, so. Uh, don't leave the pun intended, Grizzly. Yeah, right. I know. Yeah, so y'all crack me up. So, whew, I need a drink. And it ain't the sweet teas when I need either, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. I had to turn off the EMF detector because it made me so nervous. So, uh, it was the last week, the week before, I had I turned my spirit box on. And so one of those ones goes, and it scans through the channels. And I left my phone on. In a camera, and uh, and and I was talking to Sonia, and I was like, "What's it doing?" She's like, "You ain't gonna believe it." I'm like, "What?" And she she tuned in, and I'm like, "What's it doing?" And she's like, "It's saying your name, Grizzly, Grizzly, Grizzly. I'm not human, I'm not human." And it kept saying, "I'm not human, I'm not human." I'm like, "Whatever." So I opened up the door a little bit to the studio. I'm like, oh. "I shut the doors. I ain't going back in that place. What <laughs> the hell with that?" So yeah. Mm -mm. Nope. Yeah, they play up all the time. Yolanda, I have little gnomes with my flowers. Yeah. Do they crawl on your feet when you're outside? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I have a little owl. I was about to say now, now she's looking around. That's making me nervous. When somebody starts looking around. Yeah, they'll have a little owl. Oh, that's, that's a beautiful different. one. So I, I don't have, I don't have human stuff. I have animal stuff. Lots of animal stuff. And rocks. <laughs> and rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle used to live not far in the same area, and she lived on this beautiful quartz vein. But, uh. Yeah. So we got um, we had an earthquake through there, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, I heard that. I'll tell you what, the chromatics have been going off all day today. There's going to be some bad action up north. Really? Like they're just pumping. Yeah, five, 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 like one after the other. But um, Japan's been getting hit lately. So we don't know if it's going to swing up and hit Japan, you know, up the north or if it's going mm. to swing across and hit San Fran kind of area. But to have that many pumping so quickly, one after the other, is not good at all. The volcanoes are all starting to go off at the moment too. Now, see, that's scarier than some dolls. Yeah. <laughs> no. no. I'm not saying a word. <laughs> I'm not saying a word. I, 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 I got my rim pot out, so this way I can. Look what it's doing. So that way I can test it, see how far up it is and where it's at. So what it does, it lights up, see? So anywhere you break the field, it's got five different lights on it. And the closer it is, the higher the pitch. So I got it you're calibrated. Not very, you're not very trusting, are you? No. Mm. That's <laughs> typical of a paranormal best investigator, isn't it? They're so yes. cynical. Very cynical. 
Yeah. 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 I suppose you you have to be a little bit, in one way. Yeah, someone yeah. up there, agree, someone up there agrees with me. Like, I'm getting touched on the head. Um, ah, see. <laughs> yeah. I hope like they play can... with you for the rest of the night. No, it's all right. It feels nice. I don't mind. Ah. <laughs> a little pat. <laughs> now my my thingy is blinking. So cute. I love owls. Yolanda says. Yeah. I don't know. Every time, yeah, the owls are on my coffee oracle. I, that's my signature thing. Yeah, every beautiful. time you talk, it, it blinks. It's like Morse code. It's like da 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 da. da. Maybe that's I'm that. a spirit. Maybe. Yeah. I'm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you telekinesis over here? I don't know. <laughs> Not intentionally, I can assure you. So. Uh, let's see here. So I'm a skeptic too. I tried my own skeptic. It don't work. So, and what was weird is that for this other show, they're like, all right, Grizzly. So we want you to spend time with your dolls and we want you to do some sessions with them. I'm like, really? I'm like, come on. I'm like, why are y'all? I'm like, so everybody had to go out and, and find something in an antique store. So we got people in UK going out with all these electronic devices find haunted vessels or something that has attachments and freaking people out in these stores because they're like with scientific devices checking yeah. items out and they're like what are you doing they're like nothing they're like what what, 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 what do you mean nothing you got stuff that's making noises and uh, bells and whistles going on so uh yes uh anyways but yeah uh tiffany i know anyway so I did this, right? And I filmed for like two hours. Nothing happened. I turn off my camera and all hell breaks loose. They start diving off the top of the studio like they're committing suicide off of a skyscraper. I'm like, really? You're really going to do this out of nowhere? So I turn the cameras back on and nothing happens. So then I do EVPs for another hour. Nothing. So then I leave the recorder on for two hours. And I come back in and I'm like, oh, they're talking to each other. And I was like, I can't believe I got this. So then I put it on my headphones. And I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, this is unreal. And I'm like, you dumb moron. <laughs> it was me watching TV in the other room. <laughs> That's how sensitive the mic was. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, they're having a conversation. They're whispering to each other. So, but yes, yes, Tiffany, they know when when you're recording. So, yes, they absolutely know. And for some reason, I found out they do not like my rim pod. I don't know why. I don't know if it scares them. So, I know when I get it out, the activity usually stops. So, yes. Uh, Grizzly, whatever you had, turn it on and off again. I don't want to turn it on and off again. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, Grizzly, the show, whatever you had it on, turn it on. Oh, okay. I read it wrong. Sorry, I had an antenna in front of me. So, yes, but no. But see, I got the REM pod on, and, and the only thing it... Ta. See what I'm saying? Did you hear it? It went to that. It mimicked you. We went to that. Da, da. <laughs> so. All right, it's going on. <laughs> yeah, we're done. We had voices on there one day, Michelle. No, no bull. Yeah. This male voice and then a child voice just came out of nowhere. Yeah. It sure did. I thought yeah, it was well, that's come really unglued. happened because you're like, you know, it's all about frequency. So yeah. there's a lot of spirit up there trying to get through. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, they can get through to to you. <laughs> they can all the awesome, all the vibrations to you. Entanglement. <laughs> that's uh, right. I, I honestly don't mind. It's okay. I get curious. I like to figure things out. It's good. It's very good, good fun. Maybe Michelle might like this next little task. That might put a whole new thing on 
things. No, no, <laughs> your, last, your last task you sent me freaked me out. Oh, you sorry. Hey, should, should, should I show her the picture? Yeah. Hmm? It's safe, Michelle. It's all safe. Oh, no. no. I, I've, never, I've never put anybody in harm's way. No. All right. This is like we do our cases on a Saturday. Um, every third Saturday and um, you either get, you can have what you like, you can have a photo, a number, you can have nothing um, and just zone in at the time when we've got the show on and then we discuss, you know, what everyone thinks has happened. This is a new one. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. Here, I'm ringing that. Yes, it's I'm new for me the, too, Michelle. Yeah. But good and, as far as you know how you and I like to find out stuff. <laughs> well. All right, ladies and gentlemen. She wanted it and here it comes. Stand by. Let me hit another button here. Now I'm gonna make sure and watch your face on this one. All right, here we go. I really like all your new backgrounds too, Grizzy. Thank you. <gasps> So my grandma, 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 mouse, and just moved the damn thing. Did you see my cursor go across the screen? <laughs> that is not funny. And like it took it out of my hand. <laughs> they love <laughs> playing with you, don't they? The bigger the reaction, they love the, the yeah. The more the bigger the reaction, the more they love it. Yeah, like Crazy Witch says, he loves my reaction. I can't help it. I'm good at playing poker, ladies and gentlemen. I am very good at playing poker. But when it comes to stuff like this, it, anyways, what, so there's there's your target. Yeah, so that's the target. Whatever you get from that. Well, she's got very gorgeous, but she's got very sad eyes. Yeah. Um. Yeah, something's um yeah, I just can't get past the eyes for some reason. Whether she's seen something or let me help you out a little bit. You Americans all have good teeth. Yeah, how do they do that? I don't know. I always wonder that. Yeah. <laughs> so I presume that this is a missing case. I'm not presuming anything. I just want to know what you feel. Hmm. I feel that she's I feel that she's not where she's supposed to be, that's for sure. I can tell you're having problems. Um, yeah, I've, I, I sometimes I resist tuning in when I see that sadness and stuff, you know, because you just don't know what you're gonna see. Fair enough. Um, yeah, but um, yeah, she's a bit um. Oh, okay, so I'm feeling like a lot of anxiety um, from her as well. Um, it's like she can't speak up either, so it's it's in this the throat area. Um, it could be fear as well. Could be yeah. It could be where the anxiety is coming from, but there's definitely like a, a constriction in the in the throat area as well. So uh, the more I tune in, the more that's rising. Like, so I I would be fearing for her safety, or there's something going on that's you know very distressing to her. So.
Feels like the adrenaline's up as well, also. Yep. Fear, definitely fear. I just want to shake that off now because I don't really like that feeling very much. Yeah, no, I can see it. Yeah. Cleanse. Um, yeah, it's like, yeah, that's yep. not nice. <laughs> that's just not nice. Okay. Is that okay. some? Is that something different that you never experienced before? No, well, I I can experience those types of things. Um, when this, I've, this is a different sensation that you have ever yeah this is before. um and it's not even a it's it's up in here um so i hope she's not being strangled or something like that because that that's just yucky but it's high up in here which is not normal what did you get kath um it's hard we, to say isn't it because yeah, no, if, if, if we saying yeah and no, i can't really say anything because like even, even then i wanted to say something about because the because the there's reasons why you're having problems okay <laughs> smarty pants no, so no, it's, that, it's, no there is there is because we've got the case coming on saturday we don't want to say too much well the, okay. it, no, this is it? not the case for saturday this is a different case oh, for different the, so, right so but this let me ask you this how or what happened to her can you tune that oh, now that's 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 you, now you, I, I can't ask you that because yeah no you can't um i got too because i'm like you, my whole body reaction is like no okay no more than grizzy like right. full on body no um because this is not good whatever this is that nah, you're freaking me out even talking about it Okay. We'll See, I would be no good. I'd be no good on these cases because I would just fall to pieces. I'd be going, oh no. <laughs> Evening, Agent Smith. Welcome to the show. Hi, Agent so, Smith. So we'll just say I'll say this for closure for you. Thank you. I think it's supernatural. And I'll leave it at that. Oh, really? Yes, that's the probably so that's why the problem. eyes the eyes are so compelling. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh I'm getting confirmation of that. Yeah. Okay. I actually that was actually one thing that but I didn't want to say that. But I you know, I got the word demonic. So I think I need to know. Yeah. That was the but I didn't want to say that. But you've got a beautiful young girl looking at you. You don't want to say the stuff like that. You don't want to think that. You know, it's just like incomprehensible, like sad, very sad. Yeah, there's a lot of. It threw cat for a curveball because she kept asking a question herself, and it was like it, it. It's not making any sense, and I'm like, yeah, it is. But she was asking the wrong question. So, and that, and we'll just leave it at that. So, and we know okay. things upon this world exist that, that should not exist, right? They definitely do, and they definitely okay. possess and, um, people. So, all right. Yeah, and they are walking amongst us, yes. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. So. Absolutely. Um, that's 100% truth. And I don't want people to be scared about that or be fearful of that. Um, it's just something to be aware of. I guess that's why I was going, uh-uh, I don't want to tune into that, uh-uh. 
Yeah. I, I have a big radar for that. I was like, uh-uh, no, no, no. <laughs> so the person that brought this to me is using my law enforcement background. And and I know terminology and I know law. And I know autopsy reports. And I know what should, should not be done and how things are handled. And I know when things are not handled a certain way, there are many red flags. And people are claiming one thing. And other people in another realm are like, the hell with that. This is what actually happened. And here's why. And I'm like, I see both sides of the story. I see why people are saying this. And I see why people are saying this. And I was like, give me what? Give me this. Give me a picture. And I'll validate what I think by a couple of people. And while yeah. I get back to you before the show. And they're like, what? I'm like. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like, I guess that's why uh, hmm. that did. I did go through a lot. I didn't want. Yeah, I. Oh, it's hard. I I actually cared for a child that was possessed some years ago, and it's the worst experience I have ever been through. And I tried to believe in them and believe that I could help them and believe that they could be saved and all this sort of stuff, and. Um, that was very traumatic for me. I actually ended up with PTSD from it. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty horrific. It's really not easy to deal with. It's not. So in one of my groups, uh, I wrote something. Uh, it was a very good a short thesis about things that people do not believe in. Mm. And people are like, responded back and they were they were polite because they know if they're not polite and professional then they will no longer exist in a lot of groups and i don't mind debate i don't mind having conversations that's fine and i wrote another response back to a couple of responses and i explained to them the reason why they don't believe in things is because they never encountered them and when they do I'll be damned if they're in that canoe without, or that boat without the oars. And now they're wearing the shoes. And now who's mocking who? And now where do you stand? And boy, did that whole thread just shut down. And the way I, I phrased everything, I used about 973 words, I think. <laughs> so I made sure to, to deliver my point very well. And it was very well spoken. And, yeah. you know, so when I say that there are things that are amongst us that does exist, you know, I don't make stuff up. Do, you know, I believed in fairies for many years. Now, you told me 10 years ago about fairies, I laugh at you. Now, you told me about certain things, I would laugh at you. You know, not, not in your face, but behind your back, I'm like, man, that person's crazy. <laughs> but now when I have witnessed stuff, you know, and seen stuff, and then you interview people and you got people across the world have the same encounters and you're like, okay, well, this person doesn't know this person. Then you start adding everything up and it's like, all right, you know, we got your hoaxes. We got your fakes. You got your wannabes. Now you got AI, artificial intelligence, all this other stuff. Now it's even harder to get credible videos and pictures. So that's out the window. But, you know, and I've actually had people on my shows before that for 30 years would, would call everybody Looney Tunes and whatnot. And next thing you know, they had their experience and they're crying up a river and they're all jacked up in the head and can't do what they love to do anymore. And they're seeing a psychiatrist and on meds. And now they're, you know, out here in public, you know, crying up a river, apologizing to everybody that they can for them being mocked and everything else. So, you know, it's, it's like, you know, I feel bad for all these years, what I've said to people and I'll be damned. It's like, God punished me. And I'm like, no, they just wanted to let you know that, Hey, it's not nice to make fun of people. And somebody wanted you to know that it's true that what people say, they say, they say, so it is what it is. So yeah, it's like when with the dementia people or you know mental health people that 
of having an episode or whatever you know you you have to believe in their reality you, like you have to answer in their reality you know so that you don't go against their truth you know at that moment in time it's because you yeah. don't know no one knows you know like and you well, don't want to hurt them there's nothing there's, worse than not being believed i mean i can sit here and tell you all day long i'm being touched and the people that don't know me are like man whatever this guy is just trying to get ratings and you know i don't care about ratings I mean, when i say i'm being touched i'm being touched you know mm -hmm. that's why i bring out these devices and these cat balls and stuff to show people that hey when i say something's going on i got validation to show you something's going on in the studio and you can have it okay now i have binded my stuff i have purified the room i have cleansed the studio i i'm gonna do more things i'm gonna bury artifacts on the property i'm gonna do all kinds of nice things but they're not demonic you know they are uh jackie is a, is an adult with the child's mind um so that'll explain a lot to a lot of people i'm like and they like to have fun so uh thank you very much the only thing agent smith is is the program I'm using Streamyard. uh it shows 12 but i can go to my other channels uh, i'm on 15 platforms right now uh, my count is not actually accurate on who's watching uh, i debated that with Streamyard for the past five months they know it's not right we're on 17 audio platforms and we're in right now i think cat I think you're in tonight, 87 Facebook group lives. So, really? Yeah. yeah. Huh. So, and that's not counting the replays and the people God across the world and everything else. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. So, yeah. So, we're in uh, 17 Some countries. Some of these raves, Michelle. So, yeah. So, we're out there, but yeah. But I uh, think, um, unfortunately, we've, we've got a big um, movement of love, light, you know, love and light people out there that this is the way um but that's unbalanced it's like a toxic um positivity you know um exactly. i think you need to be more balanced like yes that's possible that is happening however i'm going to go focus on this because this is good um is much healthier for you you know that there is awareness of what is really out there um not just to go around like you know everything's amazing you know that's not true is it not 100 percent true so but um we do need to maintain that balance between the light and the dark i mean that's what yin and yang is all about yep oh ladies and gentlemen where does that sound familiar how many times has grizzly said that on all of his shows <laughs> well i wouldn't know that yeah, I, right? I always <laughs> talk about yin and yang and good and yeah, evil. Yeah. Well, yeah, one doesn't do. exist without the other. The light doesn't exist without the dark. So we we do need both. Um, yeah, you know, just how dark the dark gets and how light the light gets. I guess that's a whole other story. Thanks, Tiffany. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's absolutely it's absolutely true. And so you know yeah. when I. When I first started the journey with the spiritual journey and become a reverend last year, I did that because of the, the paranormal world and the realm. I wanted to learn more about the spiritual warfare that's going on, which is absolutely happening. And uh, people can believe in what they want to believe in and their higher power and their vibrations. And they're like, that's fine. Hey, no problem. So I think at the moment we need to be watching out for mass manipulation. And, you know, a lot of people being sucked in at once without knowing the true intention of what they're exactly, you know, what their intention really is in this mass, you know, get together consciousness of some groups. For um, sure. That's when it comes back to your own intuition. So those that are stepping into um, their own gifts, their own powers and stepping into um, or practicing that muscle, you know, intuition is, is a muscle as well. So, um, you know, you've got your subconscious brain that talks to the superconscious. So that talks to, you know, some call it Akashic Records, some call it the, 
you know, mass consciousness, some call it, you know, divine guidance or the source or whatever. But the subconscious is always talking to that and then it's trying to deliver that message to our conscious brain. So it's up to us to practice the muscle of intuition and um, be still be present for, you know, and neutral um, as yep. well, um, being in the middle of that black and white, yeah. as Tiffany yeah. said before, you know, being neutral, what the grey area, yeah. um, so that we can be um, receiving and, and, you know, our, if we're getting a gut reaction or something to, to, that something's not good for us, then we need to listen to that. But unfortunately we get told by, uh, you know, a higher po- authority um that you know you need to do this and you need to do that well okay look they are rules of the land um but if there's something that's not good for you and your body is telling you that or your intuition's telling you that then you really got to consider trust it yeah you know not doing that thing um yeah. may feel rebellious but it it's it's self-care yeah everyone yeah. needs to practice that muscle get that that intuition firing you know, yep. on all eight cylinders. Yeah, because we need everyone at the moment as as mm. awake as we possibly can. We mm. we need each other. Um, if you see something and it's, you know, you've got you to ask yourself, is that true? Is that 100% true, you know? Um, if there's something about some actor or whatever, you know, you've really got to not jump on the bandwagon of, oh, that's so bad and, you know, I thought they were good and stuff. You're gonna, yeah, you really yeah, gotta, like, that's right. Tap into and your it, own. It was similar with the Black Lives Matter. You know, like the Arab Spring. You know, there's a lot of sheep will follow quickly for food, basically. Yeah, without and knowing what that food is. Yeah, it's sad All that right. people. Yeah, it it is sad. So I'm gonna address two things. Number one, the energy's still going off, and you can see it. I feel <laughs> it. And number two, Agent Smith. They ain't going to do jack smack to Donald Trump. They're just trying to shut him up. If anything happens, it's going to cause mass hysteria in America. Everybody's going to be in an uproar. He's not a politician. They're trying to keep him out of the race. He's not going to be reelected. I'm sorry. Uh, There's too many things in play. But what I do want to get, I want to get your all's reaction on this. So let me play this for you. I've shared this with some other people on some other shows. Here we go. Yes. And action. Okay. So I received a vision today at 12.40 p.m. Um, It was a vision of the aurora lights. They're supposed to be in the sky before the three days of darkness happened. And one of the main things that God wants me to say on this video is you need to be on the lookout. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not saying that it's gonna happen right away or anything like that. I'm not gonna put a date on on it. But the Lord just wants you to watch for the skies. Be on the lookout um, because there will be signs and wonders in the skies um, before the three days of darkness. And so you want to be prepared and make sure that you get inside your house. Um, so these are the words that God gave me. Um, he said, I am coming, I am coming back with a sword. I will deliver my people from the snare of the fowler, but those who do not seek me shall be covered in complete darkness. Whenever you see lights, get inside your homes immediately or as soon as possible. There will be 45 minutes of these lights before the darkness occurs. Prepare to have blessed beeswax candles, anoint your homes, plead the blood of Jesus over you and your family, lock all doors, lock all windows, and cover all your windows completely for three days so you do not witness the outer darkness coming upon the earth. Please, my people, take heed to this message. It is very important that you listen to these instructions. And most importantly, watch for the skies. Um, He's like repeatedly reminding me of this. Like we all need to be on the lookout. Um, And the aurora lights, it will be seen all over the world. Um, It'll be like, it's really beautiful. It's like a a greenish, bluish color. It's like a mix of blue and green. 
you will definitely know what they are when you see them. But when you see them, um, get inside of your home immediately and, you know, follow those instructions that I just uh, uh, told you all. Because the three days of darkness is coming very, very soon is what the Lord wants me to tell you. Now, before I do this video, I ask God to speak through me. I don't, you know, none of this is coming from me. So, God just wants you all to be prepared and ready for the days to come. Um, again, this is a time where Nephilim will be released. Um, fallen angels will fallen angels will be released into the world and into the darkness. And you don't want to be outside during these times. Um, so I hope this bless you all. God bless. So what did you think about that? How did it come about? Like, how did she just come on or? So she actually went out and made that video. Now, I did my due diligence. I took her message and ran it through some databases to see if that verbiage was ever used. And it's never been used. So it's something that she has not copied. Her body language and her tone and everything, uh, she's not seemed to be underneath of any influence. I mean, she seems sincere. Yeah. Uh, she's a little reluctant to give the message, but uh, I don't know. Uh, that is a prophecy that has been told in several different ways. But I just wanted your reaction. I've heard different stories of, you know, different prophecies, like you say, where all's going to change. Um, but I, I don't know what kind of darkness they're talking about. It could be natural, you know, like volcanic or who knows. I, I don't know. I don't like to go into the fear side of things at all. Um I think she believes in what she's saying, 100%. Yeah, she does. Definitely does believe in what she's saying. Um, I don't believe that that's a, um, a God um, event. I believe there are things going to be happening, but they're not um, from God. No. Um, but there are events coming that it will be um put upon us um due to this agenda that's going on in the world um so do you get the feeling I, it's oh sorry no you no say i just was there, like i choose not to, yeah i choose not to be in fear of that same to, to use my intuition and you know what's going on around me same um, i not believe anything i see here on media um anything that i um it has to be firsthand as well you know for me to actually believe it so um but i do know there is a lot there is a lot going on um, that's man-made yeah yeah um but there's a lot of christian folks that are you know taking it literally from the bible like the new revelations and all that sort of stuff so yeah um, but I, I but out like of all that. of this all the stories i hear and all the things you see and for the last i don't know i think it's been about 18 months i've just had this feeling that it's all going to it's going to be good like whatever's happening is happening for the good of all of us and nature always has a way of balancing things back out and I trust the great spirits more than anything. And, like, I trust that the right thing will happen. And if it's a matter of balancing out black and white or whatever, light or dark, I believe the right thing will happen. There's, I know it's not going to be pleasant at the time, um, but I I don't know. I just have this. I've never had it in my life, this feeling of trust for some reason. Like, me saying that is 
monstrous, you know. But that's huge. That is huge. Yeah, <laughs> that's not, like, that's not the cat sense. I know. <laughs> no, that's right. Yeah, you know, like yeah. I don't trust anything. But this, I Welcome trust. to the show, Janice. Trust it's going to be okay. Hi, Janice. Yeah, so trusting in your own, you know, feelings about that. And you're exactly right, you know, blessings in disguise. They don't feel yeah. great at the time, but they, you know, I have a huge saying. It's like, you know, things are not happening to me. They're happening for me. Yeah. You know, if you have that belief um, that if things will turn out, then that uh, generally they do happen for yeah. the better or to put you on a different path or to rectify something. Yeah. Mother Earth's very powerful. Um, yeah. you know, she's going to, she's going to keep on going long before we leave the earth. So yeah, she's cranky at the moment that I can see why. <laughs> so, so the thing though is we walk out our door next week and we see these aurora. It depends on your accent or your dialect, these lights in the sky. <laughs> what in the hell? I mean, now, ladies and gentlemen, yes, people prophesize about the end of the world. People prophesize about 1999. People prophesize the year 2000. People prophesize like Nostradamus, Hister, Hitler. So, I mean, we can talk about this for shows and shows and hours and hours, right? Yeah. We can apply the book of revelations to any century any war you know world war three you know i i have i don't know i don't have the answers but this was brought to my attention and they were like grizzly what do you say so when i looked at the video i took it and i looked at it as a interviewer right so when they taught us how to interview people and we call it interview it's a lot softer and pleasant instead of interrogation uh, we like to call it interview right so we are taught how to do that with no audio and we are learned how to read body language and we were taught first off to use politician videos i hate to say it but that's that's what we used Makes sense. and that's and that's what they still use today and even in the civilian side and uh, we're not going to say which ones because I know somebody's going to ask. But anyway, uh, and I, I applied everything that I learned over the years and what I knew and learned from different agencies that I've trained with and been certified with and through. And I'm like, damn. Yeah. 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 So, you know. It's very interesting. Uh, she's very credible. So now if you want to throw in labels as Christians and faith and everything, then yes, and I guess you can. But, you know, what if, ladies and gentlemen, you know, mm -hmm. things above us, the vibrations have been off for some time. The energy has been off for some time. I mean, it's just kind of awkward, everything going on in the world. And all, lo and behold, you know, and people have come forward before uh, with claims that God or uh, angelic people, right, have been spoken to. And, hey, you need to come forth and give this message. So I just want to get your all's reaction and take. Like, well, I think she was very uncomfortable delivering that message. Yeah. She was. Yeah. So um, it wasn't like she was up there prophesizing or trying to scare people or, you know. No, she looked pulpit. quite frightened herself. Quite uncomfortable about it. Yeah. Like, Hesitant. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know, this is going to make me look like I'm I crazy, be, but. Should I be doing you know, this? Should I be right. telling? If I don't tell this and it does happen. You know, I think forewarned is forearmed. Like, yeah, I agree. You can't dismiss it. You definitely need to take it into consideration. If it starts happening, then, you know, you know what to do. And I think that's where she's coming from, a space of um, not really wanting to deliver that message. But if I don't 
if I don't and it does happen, then then I'll be guilty of, you know, not passing that on. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Grizzly did his due diligence and he passed it on. So, yes, there we go. But it's yeah. good to get all, it's like, um, you know, when we do the cases <laughs> and, you you know, you're joining all the dots. The more dots we've got that are the same, you know, the more chances are of, you know, more accurate result. You know what I mean? Like, because there's so many of these different things coming across. And again, you don't know if these messages are being put to make trouble. You know, yeah. like I think it's wise to listen, but that's that gray area again. Yeah. So like here's who? here's the deal. So my neighbor, my old neighbor, my early twenties, he was an atheist, and he did not believe in anything but himself and no higher power or no higher vibration. And we were in his garage, and we were sitting around. We were drinking beer, and we smoked cigarettes. And he said something about God. And I was like, oh, gosh, here we go. I said, gosh, G-O-S-H. And I was like, Tim, let me explain something to you. And he's like, okay. And he said, I'm all ears. I said, let's put it to you this way. I said, you don't believe in a higher power, correct? He said, that's right. I do not. I think we die and that's it. I said, okay. Now, let's look at it hypothetically this way. Let's say that there is good, right? He said, yeah. I said, well, if you believe in good, you got to believe in evil, mm -hmm. right? And he's like, huh. I said, there ain't no huh. It's, it's a yes or a no. You can't believe in one without the other. It doesn't coexist. It, it exists together. So he shut up for a minute. I said, don't say a word. Let me finish. <laughs> he said, I'm going to hear you out. And I'm like, where are you going? He said, I'm going to go get me two beers. And I'm like, oh, great. So he went to we're in the garage. He went to his fridge, got a cup of beers. And uh, he sat back down. And, uh, and I said, listen. Let's say there is not a higher power or faith right? You don't have faith, which that's evident. And you die. Guess what? Nothing happens, right? And he said, right. That's my point. I said, okay. Now, let's say there is a higher power that created the earth, the heavens, the stars, the galaxy, created mankind, whatever, us. And you die. What happens? He goes, well, I guess I'm going to hell. And I'm damned. I said, that's right. I said, well, now let's talk about that. I said, now let's take this book that has been made by man. And what does it tell us to do? Pretty much live a decent life, right? Follow the rules the Ten Commandments that man or man has made to give us to buy by, right? He's like, what's your point? And I said, just hear me out. I said, now, we do this, right? And you live according to this word that is written by man that is allegedly given by this higher power for us to record in this biblical reference for us to follow. He goes, okay. And I said, now, you live that life and you do die. What happens? He goes, well, I go to heaven. And I said, that's right. Now, he's like, now what? And I said, now let's say everything in that book is not the truth and it never happened and it does not exist but you follow that word and you live by that word every day and then you died then what happens he says i don't know I said, i'll tell you everybody that knows you is going to say you are a good man you're honest you were 
take the shirt off your back. You would help anybody. You made a decent living. You didn't lie, cheat, or steal. And that will be who you're going to be known for for the rest of everybody that knows you in the family and the friends that are around you. He was like, damn it. He said, you got me. You know, he changed that day. Isn't that wild? So whatever you want to believe in, ladies and gentlemen, that's up to you. Yes, we know in 3 AD, King James changed what was written. We know in 1686 or something. I can't remember. That's why I never told anybody I was taking the classes the last year that they removed uh, 16, 17 books out of the Bible, whatever. You know, is there a higher power? Yeah. Is there another vibration level? Absolutely. But you know what? I don't have to answer for what you do. You have to answer for what you've done for your lifetime. Because a lot of people ask me, well, God loves me. And we are his children. Well, you know what? You're absolutely right, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm not going to get into categories or labels or anything because God loves everybody. But you will have to answer for what you have done during your lifetime if there is a God when you die. Does that make sense? It's a bit like Mark, you know, the Egyptian side of things. You know, whether you go further or not, have you been, you know, been honest? Have you been true? You know, like the pearly gates, there's all different places and ways of saying that you're going to get somewhere. But I quite like Mark. Um, I like so that. I, I often you have both Mark know with me. there is more than our lives right now. Absolutely. We, we both know that, all three of us. Yeah, absolutely. And when we, we will go through a process, I have been shown that we will go through a process, we will get to review what we did and did not do. Yeah. We will. Yeah. But I just I just had to throw that out there because a lot of people, you know, am I religious? I am to a certain extent, yes. I do believe in what I want to believe in. Do I force that upon you? Upon you? Absolutely not. But if you want to debate and you want to have a conversation, I, Grizzly is always that person. Because I love those people that tell me that I am God's children and God loves me. Well, that's right. No matter what you are right now, God loves you because God loves you so much. I'm not trying to preach, ladies and gentlemen. He gives you the up to the last second to repent, to change. That's it. And that's when I'm going to drop the mic right there. <laughs> so. <laughs> hey, thanks for getting on your little soapbox there, Grizzly. Yeah. No, absolutely. <laughs> but, you know, it, it's, just, it's just amazing because you see stuff, what people force down our throats. And, you know, it, it really angers me and frustrates me is where in America, I don't know if you all seen it, but we haven't, we aired it on shows and other shows that they are having demonic classes after school and extracurricular activities to teach demonic teachings. And I'm like, are you, are you what, what in the hell? And they're putting the horns on these little kids. And, and dress them up like satanic people and put them in pentagrams. And I'm like, they're pure kids. They don't know the difference. But in America, we got this thing called religion, right? Then on top of that, we got the Constitution of the United States. So now you can't discriminate. So if you allow one to rent or use a public space, you have to allow the other. You catch my drift? It's a mess. It is. It's a mess. Like, I can't say anything. It is. <laughs> oh, man, we have we have states, we have counties, we have people in the uproar over this in America. 
it's just it's wild am so, i allowed to come over there being non-vaxxed now i have like, no you know, idea you, you know, know when I, they opened the border down in mexico way was that part of it i, I know like, there for a while that they were mandating all the pds and everything if you weren't getting vaccinated they were going to terminate your employment and it it, it it got pretty bad i i didn't i you know i didn't keep up with it so so yeah uh, i think you're the only country i can't go to <laughs> i mean they, they still crazy. ask you when you go to the doctors he's been out in the country i'm like yeah yeah i've been to puerto rico and then look at you like when i'm like last week they're like <gasps> so you ought to see their faces <laughs> <laughs> they're like they're like slowly closing that glass door or that plexiglass door. And I'm sitting there and I'm laughing. I'm like, hell no, I haven't been out in the damn country. They're like, well, why'd you say that then? I'm like, just to get your all's reaction, you know? Yeah, I'm I'm one of those ones that poked the fire a little bit. It's I've terrible. always been that way. <laughs> so oh, yeah. I've got this I've got this mate on that religion side of things. <laughs> He um he was a Jehovah all his life, um, full on, um, all the family, all the children, everyone. And um, two years ago, he came over to me. I could see he was upset. Like he's he's really intelligent. He's into all sorts of different discussions and that. Straight off, I said, "What's wrong?" And like he doesn't usually talk to me like that. You know, we'll we could talk about everything, but not. I I can't really ask him you know are you okay kind of thing he'll just be a typical yes i'm fine um anyway this day i asked him what was wrong and he said um he's got problems because he's decided not to be a jehovah anymore um he's this guy he's he researches everything like i can't really discuss anything with him on any level as far as the religion and that goes you know like he knows all the bibles he's he's fully researched up the reason he left was because of some line in the bible about polygamy something that doesn't match um and that's why he quit but anyway it it, it caused havoc within the family because the wife you know and the church and everything like that it totally disrupted this whole area him leaving you know like you know how they say you know, if a new person comes to town, you've got a big jar of marbles and you add another marble and all the others have to move about to let this other one in. It's kind of like that. But one day I'll get him on. Like you two, you better, you'll never shut up. Like because he's so researched as well as you are, like I can't really discuss anything with him. You know, it's um, I don't know enough. I stay right out of that and politics. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't mind talking about anything. And my thing is, don't don't get upset if you get your feelings hurt. You know, uh, <laughs> yeah, like, that, I don't that's mind, just the bottom but... line. You know, I mean, people are going to stand where they want to stand. Yeah. And to, in today's society, no offense to anybody, and you know, they want to take things and alter things to make them feel good. And it, it's a, it's a crying shame. And that's why they have the new age Bible, the new translation yeah. and all, all these the other religions different. and taboos. And, you know, <laughs> I mean, we had a clerk and I'm not going to say it on the air that wouldn't do certain things with certain people. And I mean, it caused an uproar in the Commonwealth, Kentucky, and they, they threw her ass in jail. And I mean, it was, I mean, it was just wild. And it was just like, you know, and then, you know, they were playing today and this goes back to somebody's question about politics and, uh, and it's amazing. And you go back 15 years ago and they would ask questions on where do you stand on certain topics? And you're like, hell no. And you're like, like, yeah, yeah, we're here. We're here. 15 years ago, they're like, hell no. And it's just like, you know, it's either you are or you aren't. You know, there ain't no flip-flopping. And it, it's sad, you know, because people want to wrap themselves in their warm and fuzzy blanket. 
You know, what Everyone you do behind long. closed doors, right? Yeah. It's none of my damn business. But I'll be damned if you're going to put it on me and make me eat it and rub around in it and roll in it. Oh, the hell with you? No. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. You really don't deal with that crap. Go ahead, and Michelle. Was... Laugh at it. You don't hold it in. Let it out. Was... <laughs> I mean, there you go. That's so. okay. I, you know, knowledgeable people are great. You know, you can learn a lot from yep. history and, um, stati- you know, the, the statistics and, and the truth and stuff. But And that's all good, well and good. But as long as they're not, like you just said, don't force it down my throat, you know. Right. Don't try to tell me how to live my life. Yep. Um, you haven't walked a mile in my shoes. I haven't walked a mile in yours. That's okay. I'm okay with that. And I'm happy to listen to anybody, but you don't, don't start telling me what yep, to do. Same. Yeah. I, I was thinking about this last night, Michelle, and I was thinking about synchronicity and intuition and soul groups and all that. Do you know, Grizz, how Michelle and I originally first met? No. Michelle had a news agent, I hope you don't mind me saying, and there was a big glass jar full of black cats. And we had to guess how many black cat lollies. Were they black cats? I think so. Lollies were in this jar. And I, been, I was the one that, that's how Michelle and I met. There would have been something, bean, jelly beans or jelly babies. I think they were black what? cats because it was Halloween. Oh, really? Yeah, great big jar, glass jar full of black cats. You've got a good memory. Did you win that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let me tell you not about black cats but let me tell you about so we have something in america that are jelly beans like you all call right but these yeah. sons of guns are fake jelly beans so yes so each color that you say that you're eating tastes like something the opposite so let's oh. taste like We'll say one will taste like grass. One will taste like rotten eggs. One will, t- yes, nasty flavors. We're talking that will make you go. Bleh! So somebody gave me a bag of these and I did not know. And this is when I was the civilian in management. So out of the, out of the kindness of my heart, this poor guy had handicapped abilities and he loved jelly beans. Well, I'm not going to tell nobody no. So when one asks, you cannot say no to the others, right? So you have to share. So that's what I do. With- <laughs> <laughs> and my guards are like something's wrong. <laughs> I'm like, we talked about it. All the employees are out front puking their guts out. I'm like, what? <laughs> what do you mean? I go out there, man, and some of them are just cussing me up and down. I have no idea. And this guy's like, what would you do with that? <laughs> He's like, good God, that meant for you, not for them. I didn't know what they were because it didn't say on the bag. Yes, I felt so bad, ladies and gentlemen. There were like 26 people, roughly around 25, 26 people. Man, they they were mad. (laughs) I mean, they were about the handfuls, just look, you know? (laughs) So, yeah, I mean, you did did real good, Michelle. You did not laugh one bit. I mean, Uh, I smile. It just sounds stupid to me to stick something in your mouth that doesn't, you don't know what it's going to taste like. That's like honey. They're jelly beans. Ronald Reagan, the president of the United States, when when you went in the Oval Office and you were upset, you would not were able to talk to him unless you ate a jelly bean. And you all, each, of, each one of you all have your own favorite jelly bean flavor. Mm-hmm. Now imagine... You eating your favorite food. All right, Michelle, what, what is your favorite soda? Your favorite I don't drink. drink soda. Your favorite drink? Uh, red wine. Okay, red wine. 
<laughs> now imagine your red wine. Now you go to drink that red wine, and it is white Zinfandel. Now, I don't even know what that is. Well, it ain't red wine, and your taste buds is thinking red wine. Now you catch my drift. It's like now, those sour snakes. It sounds so, like torture. It's like some sort of torture. It's like mind. It was torture for the damn associates. I felt yeah. bad because they were like say it? mind fuckery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh, oh, it, it, just explain to the president of the company what I did and why I did it. And I had to call the guy that gave me the bag <laughs> into the office with me. So it was a joke on me to take home. But the oh, guy, nice you know, duck. Well, I didn't know. I wouldn't have passed it out. I would have threw it in the trash. Yeah. But, I mean, so, some of them said That's that funny. it tasted like rotten eggs. Well, I never had a rotten egg. Spoiled milk. Uh, some of them uh, so, some of them had taste like dog food or something. I mean, you can Google the, the jelly beans. I guess they still make them. Yeah, I've seen no. them. Sounds so, so it's like those things you know they do on master chef and that it's supposed to look like a, a strawberry or something and it tastes like lemon totally opposite well well weird. i don't know i think they that's all happening just to cause people to doubt what they see what they feel you know it's it's completely like confusing the senses why 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 well it's funnier than hell now but it wasn't back then <laughs> <laughs> i know um, ladies and gentlemen it's bad i'm sorry but yes yeah I, I, I would definitely not be taking anything from you ever <laughs> no yeah they, they wouldn't you know yeah and and I tell you another thing too. I never ate people's potlucks or anything people made me. And and, it was, and I'll tell you why. I never forget the day that one of the guys needed a ride to work, and I was like, "Man, look, I got a tinkle. Can I use your restroom?" He's like, oh yeah, come on in, man. Come on, yeah, 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 yeah. I walked inside that house. I'm like, "What in the hell?" And I'm like, you bring food to a potluck? Are you free? Oh, hell with that. I'm like, nope. That is, that's, that's the last time I ever ate anybody's food. I already ate. Thank you. Mm -mm. Yeah, and everybody used to bring me stuff when I was on the PD for lunch. And all the good civilians would make stuff. I'm like, that probably had x lax in it or something. I'm like, yeah, thank you. Seems like what I can do it right in the trash. Yep. Mm -mm. You got to be careful, ladies and gentlemen. People are revengeful. When people do things to you. I've seen a guy get x lax before in his food. That's awful. That's terrible. And what that's kind ball of board board day? What How kind of board 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 day? Yeah. How do I get under this topic, even? I have no idea. <laughs> we always get onto all sorts of topics. But, like, what kind of board day was or off their face day were those people having to come up with that idea? I know. I, I'm thinking, you know, those things that are touching you on the head, one might try and give you a bit of a slap around the head. <laughs> oh, it, it, it's hot in here. I mean, I'm like starting to beat up. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it, yeah, I feel like Nelly, the 50 Cent song, is getting hot in here. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just can't handle the spirits from down under. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Light her up now, baby. That, that damn poor audio people. That's like that's like it was the other day I was talking to the people. Was it was it you was it you all from Australia? Or is it people from UK? They asked me if I wore thongs. I'm like, no, I wear oh, G strings. That was, rough. that was another embarrassing moment because we have throwing thong competitions. They're thinking undies. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, woohoo, look at me. <laughs> God gracious. But it's hard because some of my words are my words. They're not really typical Australian, so it's confusing. <laughs> oh, poor Stingray. Well, y'all got him worked up now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, all, all Australian chicks are hot. What are you talking about? Exactly. I was just about to say that. <laughs> I knew one of y'all was going to say it. I'm, I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, what, what a show. What a show tonight. Hopefully y'all to enjoyed it. Yeah, you, absolutely yeah. right on that. <laughs> yeah, we might as well just go ahead and just bring out the party, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, let's dance. Come on, right? But uh, you never know with Kat where we're going to go, ladies and gentlemen, on her sure. show. We can go into the ditch sometimes. But, yes, uh, interesting show tonight. Uh, hopefully everybody enjoyed it. Uh, we went off into a little tangent. Uh, Stingray's agreeing. I knew it. And he's got that look when he's, like, winking at you like, ah, ah, you know. Yeah, how does he do that? I have no idea. So... <laughs> Now, Agent Smith, I got that song, Red, Red Wine, and stuck in my head. A very a healthy glass or two of knowing is very good for the heart. It is. Yeah, well. You uh, know, she I, saved I, me and got me home. Yeah. Uh, that's <laughs> awesome, Stingray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's another thing. We're very practical like that. Yeah, we usually yeah. find our way home <laughs> somehow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh dear. All right, All right ladies and gentlemen, yeah. that's a wrap for tonight. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, yeah, I'm gonna I'm, go change my profile picture now to <laughs> I can't even do it. it that look make me look like I'm having a stroke or something. Winky you winky. need to go back and look at that fairy thing that flew over your head, Kat. Oh yeah, what was it? Five oh two. It was fifty eight something or something. Yeah, you need to look at that. Because I mean it looked like it had wings and legs and everything. Oh, I've got friends. I know. <laughs> Well, you other than friends? my navigation man in the car <laughs> other, other than the ones in low places yeah oh man yeah. let me tell you this before i let you before we go my, my lieutenant on county and this is when we had gps's in the police cars i snuck in his car he left it unlocked it's a big no-no never leave your cruisers unlocked i turned his gps to where it talked japanese that was funnier than hell. <laughs> oh my God, man. Oh, I got in so much trouble over that. I, I mean, you got back to the station. We all got called in off the streets. I couldn't keep a straight face. He couldn't figure out how to change it back. I had to change it. Yeah. Yeah. Did you, Chris, did you quit? No, I went to another <laughs> department closer to home. <laughs> he retired, thank God. He got too I, tired. I know, I know, I know he still talks about me to this day. I feel it. Because when I first got on counting, we, uh, I, I, I had a, he was riding with me. And I don't know why he was riding with me one, one night. And uh, I don't know, but we were like our county was like 483 square miles it was only three of us on a shift and uh we broke it up in the zones sure. and uh you scared me so we were running to a domestic call and uh and i'm in the car driving and lights and siren and i'm going eh, eh, and each turn and his tires are squealing and he's just sitting there and he's like, hmm. And I'm like, why is he? Mm. He was like, can you go any faster? And I'm like, what in the hell? And I'm like, am I going too fast? And I look up and there's 45 mile an hour zone. I look down, I'm doing 52. And I'm like, well, shit, oh, damn, I thought I was flying. So then I, then we hit a straightaway. So I punched it. You know, we're out in the country, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So I uh, hit the spotlight on a straightaway, and he turns around, looks at me, and goes, now what the hell are you doing? Are you looking for raccoons? He got me laughing so hard, we <laughs> ran off the road into a cornfield, <laughs> and, and, and there was corn, and it was just about to be taken down, you know, harvested. And here, here's my cruiser going, da 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 <laughs> craps flat everywhere. And, and I know not to stop because if we stop, we're going to get stuck. And I'm looking on a GPS and I know the road is on the other side of this little field. And he's sitting there not even do, not even saying a word. And we hit the road and we slingshot, we take off. And where's corn husk and stock flow over the car? And uh, we pull up 
and the house was like the fourth house down down the road right there. And the guy was out front. He's like, "What the hell did y'all come from? The field?" He was like, "Don't ask." And he pulled me to the side, and he, he was like, "Look, he's like, when we get back to the station. That never happened." <laughs> and I want the keys to your car. And I'm like, no, you're not taking my car, are you? He goes, I'm taking your car, and that video is going to disappear. It's never going to happen. You understand me? <laughs> Imagine being oh, yeah. your little rookie. <laughs> oh, I drove I drove my car in the creek once, chasing somebody. Yeah, that was wild. And the car floated. Then it sunk. Did you have the windows the open? No, the trunk filled up with water, and when I got back to the station, thank God it was a uh, pull car, and a uh, funny pull car, right? And my <laughs> sergeant come out, and he was like, is that water in the headlights? And I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, oh, it must have been a leak. I took it to the car wash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Woo, we did some crazy stuff on county. But anyway, yeah. yes, ladies and gentlemen. But anyway. Look, she just sits there. I could, I cannot get her to crack a smile. She just sits there. And just like, mm. I'm not. I'm not. I'm listening. I'm a big listener. Wise um, wisdom. I went. I actually went airborne in my my car once because there was a, one of those Huntsman casts. You know, it was as uh. big as my, big as my hand. Came across the inside of the windscreen. A uh, what? <laughs> They're big spiders. Spider. He They're was horrible. inside the car. And I hit, I hit, and I was like driving, like, you know, trying to get away from it instead of just pulling over. Oh, no, no. You know, I, I was like, and I hit this road, a crossroad, didn't even stop to see if anyone was coming. And I airborne the car, airborne over the road and hit the other side. And I pulled up. Um, my destination was a couple hundred meters down the road. I pulled up, got out of that car, ran like hell. <laughs> I don't know how the car was okay because it looked like seen out of the Duke of Hazards, you know. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, I, I bet it. the whole time she was airborne, she probably was like this. <laughs> not likely. <laughs> no, I was not. A bit more like Stingray. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Stingray, man. She's got you on that one, brother. Right, you got a new nickname gentlemen. now. <laughs> That's a wrap. I'm glad you jumped on, Michelle. So, uh, yeah, that was, was great. Y'all have a good night. Thank you, All right. Godspeed, everybody. We'll catch you on the next show. Y'all have a good one. Take care. Thanks. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.